Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just today, uh, well, we've been working on this for a couple of days. A, a subscriber or a viewer, he kept talking about his envelope tool wouldn't work with this shape. He wanted this shape and it just wouldn't work. And I couldn't figure out, you know, what he was doing wrong. So I finally just said, send me the image or send me the file. And he sent me this file and it's not a vector image. And that's probably why it doesn't work with the envelope tool it's basically a picture it's a jpeg it's a you know this is, file is actually png anyway so i bit mapped it so we'll move down here and i bit mapped it and this is why the video is because this is just a standard clip art with the exception there's some extra problem so i bit mapped it and then i traced it under clip art let's take a closer look it's a lot sharper, but you've got all these little broken pieces. So here's where this video is going to help you, I think. Go up to Arrange, Ungroup All Objects, and then grab just, let's get our, we've set our uh, nudge factor on 15. Get our, just a good black part and move it over 15. Look at all the pieces that were left behind. Let's move this over another 15. And if we put in a yellow box, fill it with yellow, go up to arrange, order, back a page. Well, you can't really see it too much better in the video, but there's hundreds of little specks of garbage that's left behind. So now we got our horse pretty cleaned up. It's still not perfect, but it would work. You could actually use a smoothing tool. But what we're going to do, we're going to take it and we're going to encompass it all. We're going to go up to break curve apart. Now we got a black silhouette of it. Now we can go and unfill it and then put an outline on it and you can see that it's a double line so that's where our problem is so bit mapping on that case really doesn't work so here's one i did that i didn't bit map i just traced and look how clean it is it's good and sharp now it still has double lines when we move it around you can see the double lines let's move that back so there's a couple of ways you can do that. You could no fill it. Come on, computer. And put our outline, and now you got double lines. You could click on it, arrange, break curve apart, go up and get your virtual segment delete key, and just delete that interior line. But it, as you can see, it didn't delete, delete all of them. So just kind of double check that everything's still there. Still got something in this unicorn that's weird. That might just be left over. You know, a lot of times you can zoom in or zoom out and that leftover be gone. But anyway, what I did or what I suggest to do is here's your image. Let's encompass it all. And let's do this. Under the weld tool, let's just create a boundary. Now we've created a boundary. Let's move him up here. So now we just have an outline. And then you can, and it's pretty good and sharp because I traced it. Then you can do anything you want with that outline. You can change it from a non hairline to two points. Let's go a little bit heavier. Let's go eight points and now you got a nice silhouette of a uh, unicorn of course you can always fill in the fill it in and have a solid that would engrave or just take that away and somehow I think he's going to use the envelope tool on the inside of this anyway I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching